Hello fairies and welcome back to my channel. It is Shannon here. I'm really excited because today I'm taking you along with me to see what a typical Tuesday would look like for me. Tuesdays are usually my filming days where I make these videos for you. I'm just gonna hang out and I will show you kind of like the behind the scenes of what my day looks like, what goes into filming my videos, how I get ready, and we're gonna be doing some other fun stuff along the way as well. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these type of vlogs spend the day with me videos I'd love to know what you think and let's just go have a great day let's just have a fun time together officially clean. That was like very long shower. I did like a scrub on my face. I did a hair mask. I shaved my legs. I put lotion on. I really pampered myself today. So I have a lot of goals today. I want to get my video filmed. I have some chores to do. I want to do the dishes and vacuum the house and then I want to work on some stuff with my Christmas ornaments. I need to get the studio tidied up. I was thinking first I'll go work on the house chores while my hair dries because I do always let my hair air dry. Yeah, thank goodness my skin is looking a little better today. It's healing. I was dealing with some breakouts because it is like my PMS week. My clockwork every time like the week before I'm going to start my period my skin will break out get like kind of cranky <laughs> and then it just like coincides tracking my cycle has really helped it's like I know when it's that time and I know like why it's happening um, anyways I'm gonna go wash the dishes so this is our current dish situation I have dishes to put away I have a lot to wash so I'm gonna do this because I just can't focus on my day while my sink looks like this <laughs> Unfortunately, my battery died when I was finishing the dishes, but they are all done. Love the feeling of having all the dishes done. I think I'm gonna make some coffee because I know James is gonna want some. He wakes up, he's still asleep, but he's gonna have to get up soon because I'm about to start vacuuming the house. So that'll be his little alarm clock. <laughs> at my studio. It's just gotten a little messy over the last couple days and I have a lot of stuff I need to put away. So I'm going to take care of that. I just like need my space to be tidy or I just can't 
focus on what I need to do. So I'm gonna take care of that first. So let's do it. <laughs> wondering what this is it is a golf ball retriever I bought so you basically use this to like reach down in the water and grab out golf balls that went in the pond for a coffee break I have already checked a few things off my list which feels really good my hair is almost dry so long for my hair to air dry but if I blow dry it it just like turns into a poof also, once James gets up, I'll probably convince him to go on a walk with me to walk the flower. I am starting to get ready for my video I'm going to film. I have this list here of everything I bought at the thrift store last time, so I write everything down with the prices so that I'm able to wash all of the clothes. And I just looked at the list and gathered up a stack of all the clothes I'm going to be showing in the video. I'm not going to show them to you now because it's going to be a surprise. And I just like to wash everything first. It's like you never know with the thrift store. So I started like doing these lists and it's been really helpful to me. I can like take the tags off, wash everything, and then have it clean by the time I'm going to be filming the haul. So I think it's almost time to get my hair and makeup finally going and then I will film the video. <laughs> My hair is finally dry. I think it's been like three hours. I don't know. It's been a while. Let's try to tame the beast a little. The flower is going crazy. She needs to go on a walk. So that will be my next I do after I get my hair looking a little better because I don't want to go out in public looking like this. <laughs> James finally woke up and we're taking Flower on her walk. It's really warm outside right now. I probably didn't even need the sweater. The leaves are changing and it's really beautiful. <laughs> Okay, back from walking flower and now I'm going to do my makeup and get ready to film my haul video. I'm gonna feel like a really big accomplishment once I get that done, so I'm excited to check that off the list. <laughs> Right, my 
my makeup is done. I didn't put lipstick on because James made me a sandwich. So I'm gonna go eat my lunch and then I will get to filming. Oh, this is my sandwich that James made me. It is a ciabatta roll with smoked salmon, Swiss cheese, lettuce, cucumbers, and mayonnaise. And this is one of my absolute favorite sandwiches. Can't wait to eat it. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet today. I'm just living on matcha and coffee right now. Okay, we are back in the studio. I set up my second camera so that I can show you what I actually do to get ready to film. It is kind of a process for me to transform my background here with my sewing machines. So I'm kind of giving you an inside look today. I'm about to put on my lip stuff because I always wait till like I'm about to film to do that because it wears off so easy and let's get going on filming this haul. Okay, so I'm done filming my haul video and earlier when I was tidying up my studio I had brought these ornaments I bought out here so I thought it might be fun if I just show you some of the new Christmas ornaments I've been buying and kind of give you an update on how things are going with that because I've mentioned a few times that I've been planning since last year to do kind of like a woodland forest fairy themed tree this year. I've been buying ornaments here and there and I had just grabbed these at this overstock store. These were only $2 a piece the other day. Got these few little gnome ornaments. Aren't these so cute? <laughs> different colors here. I also grabbed this little pink deer ornament. I thought she was really cute. So weird, but like cute in a weird way, right? And then I grabbed this little candy cane as well because I do have kind of like a felt like stuffed theme going on too, which I will show you. So this one was just $1.99 as well. This is something else I got at that Overstock store. This is, it's not an ornament, but how cute is this? I'm a magical gnome with a secret to tell. Put your wishes inside and roll them up well. I'll read each wish to Santa while you soundly sleep, then sneak back inside without making a peep. Each morning you'll find me back in my place with your wishes delivered come true Christmas Day. Open it up now. I've been waiting to open it because I wanted to show it to you in the package first. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> And it does open up and then you can roll up and put your little wish inside. So cute! And that was five dollars and it did come with like the little is a paper that you can write on and roll it up to put inside. So I'm definitely gonna make a Christmas wish with this this year. I thought that was really neat. Okay, I have some more stuff tucked away. I'm gonna pull out. Okay, this is my little bin with ornaments that I've been collecting. So I did buy a bunch of these at Joann's, like little felt spiral swirly ornament balls, and I just fell in love with these. It is called Place and Time Wonderland, and these were $6.99 a piece. And I have a whole bag of them here. Oh, I think I bought like eight of these. I thought these would be really cute to like fill in the tree. The other thing I got, since I couldn't really find like good fairy ornaments, I wanted to get some little like wings. I got these kind of like iridescent fairy wings off of Etsy. Not angel or fairy wings, but I was gonna kind of go for more of like a fairy. They're very expensive. I can link the shop where I got them from below. Seem really nice. And so kind of what I was planning for these is I want to get some quartz crystal points and maybe glue them in the middle here just to like dress it up a little and then I'll put some kind of string behind that as well. Okay some other new ornaments I bought. This little lady Joann's as well. It's like a little, little unicorn. I just thought she was so cute. This is from the place and time as well. I'm embarrassed to say this was $16.99. 
It was like marked down though. Um, let's see. I got this one at Joanne's as well. It's like a little skunk ornament. I thought this kind of looked like flower. If you didn't know, flower my dog was named. Hour after the skunk on Bambi by the girl that rescued her. I have this one little fairy. My brother's fiance gave this to me a couple years ago. A cute little fairy ornament. Then I have a few from World Market I bought as well. I got this little fuzzy owl ornament. This little like fuzzy deer there as well. I think I got this last year actually. I got this one at World Market last year too, another little felt gnome guy. I got this one at World Market this year. It's like a pink kind of hummingbird. I'm just going for like an eclectic feel with everything, but it all still kind of like goes. This is another one I bought at World Market recently, a little moon with a star. I thought that was really pretty. It's a little like elf that my friend Kelly gave me a few years ago. I like to stick him in the tree. And I got this one at World Market as well. It's like a globe with like little mushrooms and trees. I thought that was so pretty. Kind of what I have going is so far. I do have a few other ones in here like from before. I did get this little gnome as well. I found this at work. He's like drinking a beer and it says chill out. It's Christmas. I, this was one of the first things I ever cross stitched when I was little. This little Santa Claus. So I like to set him out around Christmas. I think that's kind of it for now with like what I have going with my ornaments. I do have some like clip on mushrooms coming in the mail that I ordered off Amazon. I do have some like other glass orbs and stuff in storage as well. I'm just like really excited about these felt ones. I'm planning to do more in the future, like when I actually decorate the tree. I just had all these out, so I kinda wanted to like show you where I was at with my little collection of ornaments so far. I'm kinda like grabbing as I see them. Okay, so one more thing I have to do. Home all of my try-ons for my thrift haul, so I'm gonna go like style and try on all of the clothing pieces and then I will bring them in here and try them on and that is how I get like those little clips that I add in. A lot of work getting these thrift hauls together actually. Probably not going to show you though because it's going to be a surprise. I don't want you to see any of the pieces yet that I bought because it's going to be a surprise next week when I show you the haul. So I'm going to go do that. So oh, it has been a long day of filming. I know it probably doesn't look like that long to you, but I've been like going hours and hours <laughs> filming and working on everything. So I'm gonna reward myself with this little bottle of sparkling wine. I stuck this in the fridge this morning because I just had a feeling I was gonna want it. And this is from World Market and I really like these. It is a uh, Blanc de Blue. Blanc de Rosé. It is dry. I love these little stars on it. Well, I try on all my clothes for the haul and film those clips so hopefully this will get me in like a nice little groove to get that done cheers mm. little miss flower wanting to say hi ah <sighs> All right, just finished trying on all of the clothes and filming them. Got the whole pile right here. Now I just need to put all the clothes away. I'm gonna hang them back up because I don't want to leave a mess for myself. So I'm just gonna do it and just get it done. And then I will move on from there. Why am I like huffing and puffing right now? I'm hot. Probably because I was just trying on like sweaters and stuff and running around. <laughs> Who came back out for the cold winter months? They came out of hibernation. Hi, fairy slippers. All right, my beautiful fairies, I think I'm going to end this video right here. It has been a long and productive day. It's starting to get dark outside. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little more like behind the scenes and what one of my days looks like and what goes into filming my videos. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. Got my laptop out here. I'm about to upload all this footage and get started on editing. Remember that you are special, beautiful, and magical, and I love you so much. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.